Is Last Epoch the Diablo killer? Is it the Path of Exile killer? Well, I've played them all. And I think Path of Exile is a special game for certain people. It is a lot. I mean, personally, I don't like going on Reddit and watching all these videos to find out my build guide. Then we go over to Diablo and Diablo is just too easy and Blizzard's just a terrible company. They don't care enough and they're just trying to get all your money in every way possible. And now we go over to Last Epoch. For everyone who wants to see if your money is truly worth it, that's what this review is about. Is it worth your time and your money? Let's talk about Last Epoch's gameplay, the meat and potatoes, why it's the biggest contender for this genre. It does not punish you to rebuild your character, which is huge. You wanna go do an unoptimized build and find out that it is not good when you hit that wall or that really hard difficulty? Guess what? Rebuild it. And it doesn't take long to get back to where you need to be. That to me, has the most value. When you're playing all these other games that are just like this in the genre, it takes a lot of time to rebuild and respec and it costs you currency and all these other things. It, it sucks. It really sucks and takes away from the gameplay. It's like I'm punished for not looking up all these builds. I just wanna play the game and figure it out. I want to do that and I like to do that. Hardcore players are gonna go in here and I'm like, you need to do this build, this, you have to follow the meta. And here, you don't really have a hard meta. You can achieve really hard difficulties without doing what everybody else is doing and do a play style that's unique to you. You get to play your character. And that's why I think this game is that nice middle ground. It's not Diablo. It's too easy. It's not, it's not Path of Exile where it's super hard. And I have to do all this information or research. I can just play the game and have a good time. I can sink 40 hours in this game. Now, the story, dude, I don't even know what's happening. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really playing this game for the story. It's okay but i don't think it's anything special and if you're here for the story like if you're here for like a diablo story or something like that it, they're all terrible right the story here is is not it gameplay is why you're here you're here to build your coolest baddest character you can possibly have find the coolest loot get all your matching you know stuff get all your bonuses and do wave clears by the click of a button now the other thing here about the gameplay is the crafting system it is a crucial part of the game, and I didn't take advantage of it when I first started. And I imagine most people won't either. You should be crafting all the time because there's no penalty to crafting. You craft, and it's going to get better. Your gear's not going to get worse. I mean, you might get like a, a crap roll, kind of. It's few and far between. You're always going to gain something from crafting. So just craft and see what you get. It's really fun. It's good. Is it the RNG? Yes, but I mean, this is a loot drop game, so why wouldn't it be that? The other fantastic thing is you are not being charged for your stash to hold all your stuff that you're going to hoard and never use again. You just pay in-game gold and you get more stash slots. You get more inventory slots. That is fantastic. Great job, Last Epoch, because that matters. Who wants to grind out special currencies to just level up your stash that is already built into the game and it's just a place to grind? That sucks. I hate that. I don't want to grind to make my inventory get more. I don't like that. It's lame. It's stupid, but they don't do it here. I got to talk about graphics. I care a lot about how my game looks. She better look good when I get her out of the box. When I boot up and she's ready to go, she better be magnificent. And in this game, they look good, everything looks good. Your models, your environment, your spell effects, illumination, your shadows. I, I personally turn off shadows because it just, there's no point in this game, but if you want them on there, everything looks good. And what's really good too is when I'm casting a spell and I see all those effects and everything goes off, I can tell where everything is. I can tell where my character is. I can tell when I do my spell that it's doing what it's supposed to do. It feels damaged, the radius of that spell looks like it's covering, you know, whatever, this big of a radius, it's covering that and it feels strong and powerful. I like that, I need that and I got it. I think everything in here from a gameplay graphic setting looks good on release. There is one problem I had and that's with popping. It wasn't popping in with like monsters. What was popping in was if I killed a huge mob, they would just disappear. And I don't know if that's still happening. Maybe it's just me. 
maybe it's you i don't know but it doesn't really bother me too much because it's a huge you know we're clearing huge waves so that's what it is a lot of folks are not talking about this one special feature that the game has and it's not in game it's out of the game when you go to last epoch's actual website there is a builder there's a character builder for your class and all your abilities and all your gear it has everything here so for those hardcore players and the casual people that want to take the time to do this i greatly appreciate this because i get to go in here and see like oh man i really screwed up my build or i can't do this or i want to make the most optimized lethal machine in the game and you get to do it right here seeing what i get to do and how i get to fix my build to help me get over that hurdle of difficulty you can do it right here now a lot of people don't talk about this maybe because they don't know or they are not aware but this one website has tons of stuff i'm just looking at we got resources we got forms we got build guides builds build planner new loot filter my build checklist and then you have the ladder there's a lot of things on here that we get to have as a resource, which is great. I love it, it helps so much. Now you might be asking yourself, is this game for you? Is it Diablo enough? Is it Path of Exile enough? Well, I'm gonna tell you what, if Grim Dawn got a overhaul and it looked gorgeous and all these other things happened, it would probably come out very close to Last Epoch. I think Grim Dawn is a underdog in this whole genre, but Last Epoch is right there. It does everything right, everything feels good, right? It's not too easy. It's not too hard. It's this nice middle. I'm not punished for not optimizing and playing to the meta. I get to do everything I want, build the character I want and have a good time doing it. This game is worth your money and time. If you get it on a deal, that's even better. I recommend that you do play this. You will have a good time. Online mode might be kind of finicky as of today, but it is getting fixed. I haven't had a whole lot of chances to get into it just because Online mode is a separate character, and that kind of bothers me, to be honest with you. But all that aside, this is a good game, and I recommend that you do play it. Hopefully that puts some light out there. There are other reviews out there talking about a lot of stuff, but I am not a hardcore player. I'm a casual player, probably like most of you. I'm not sitting here for five, six hours a day jumping down the game's throat. On the first week, I've seen people in the global chat say that they have over 100 hours in the game that's ridiculous bro go outside for a walk okay get some sunlight get some moonlight if you need it you know what i mean it's okay with that being said i hope this review helps you in some kind of way if you're on the fence about this game please like and sub it truly does help i know they all say it but i'm gonna say it too because it truly does i'm very close to a thousand and i appreciate your time i'll see you later